practicing pay, uh, questions is one part analyzing pyqs is one part but taking mock tests is absolutely very very important because over here you will learn time management whenever you're taking a mock test what i would suggest is take a paper that has exactly the same number of questions that will appear in your neat exam which is 100 questions set the timer to exactly the time duration you will be allowed in the neat exam find a place quiet place for you to sit down act like you're actually taking the final neat exam hello everyone welcome to the session my name is shalini somashekar and i teach botany in physics wala's english and kannada verticals i'm here today to talk to you about five mistakes that you should avoid in your preparation for neat 2025 regardless of whether you're a fresher or a dropper what i'm about to tell you is definitely going to help you some of you might already be aware of what i'm going to talk about but nonetheless it is going to serve you as a gentle nudge and help you work in the right direction so without any further ado let's get started with what is planned for today the first thing thing that i would urge you all to do is quit social media It could be any social media app like your Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Reddit or whatever else there is. All of these social media apps are designed to keep us hooked to our devices. As neat aspirants, 2025 is not too far away from us. It's going to come to you in a flash. And at this time, as aspirants of becoming a doctor, you cannot afford to waste your time on silly things like these social media apps. I know as teenagers you have this fear of missing out on important things you want to know you want to be updated about which friend is going out with which friend to which restaurant what are they eating and all of that i get it it is the toughest thing to do at the moment in this time of technology but if only you manage to do it half the battle is already won i can take an example of something that's very relatable back in our days when one of our friends birthdays uh, were to be celebrated we would just go to their house cut some cake smash some cake in their face eat the remaining cake and get back home today that's not the scene you want everything to be aesthetic so there's a lot of time that goes away in it if you want to celebrate your friend's birthday the first thing that starts is to scout for the perfect place you want to find the perfect restaurant where you can go so that place has to be aesthetic finding that is consuming time what are you going to wear for the celebration you have to wear something aesthetic something uh, currently trendy again so there's time consumed in trying to match what what kind of bag you should pair with your shoes that is time consuming and then you go there you're least bothered about the food you take pictures of your food and you want fancy restaurants fancy food you take pictures post them and then you gobble them up and there's a lot of time that is spent on taking pictures there you take thousands of pictures that is time consuming of those pictures you have to select like top 4 or 5 for your instagram feed that is time consuming after you've posted your pictures it's still not over you keep going and checking whether your crush has seen it you keep going and checking whether your crush has liked it or not and whether or not you've received the uh, sufficient number of likes and comments on your post all of these can be like super draining and it's trust me not going to help you in your future if only you give up social media until you take your neat 2025 exam 5 years 10 years down the line not much is going to change in your life if only you alter i mean if only you are more focused on uh, social media and you give less time for your preparation your preparation takes a back seat you will not be able to perform well in neat as a result you will not be able to become a doctor which is probably your childhood dream as a result of that 10 years 5 years down the line is your life going to be any different hell yes it's going to be very very different than what you dreamt of there is a very powerful saying that goes If you do not sacrifice for your dreams then your dream itself becomes a sacrifice these are little things which do not hold much importance in your life in your career right now it might seem very exciting right now it might seem like it's giving you a lot of dopamine rush and you're feeling happy about it but in future it is not going to help you in any way right so if you do not sacrifice on these little things that are distracting and not good for your life whatever your dream is which is of becoming a doctor that will have to be sacrificed think about it also i've noticed that there is one subset of students who kind of worship their idols it could be cricketers it could be teachers it could be film actors whoever they are they are the people create their fan pages and spend a lot of time in maintaining those fan pages engaging in comments i understand everyone should have idols in our lives that we can look up to and we want to become like but this 
maniac worshipping of uh, your idols is not healthy right so what you could do instead let's take the example of virat kohli who is one of the most celebrated cricketers in the world today like most of us indians virat kohli looks up to sachin tendulkar if only as a little boy virat kohli made fan pages of sachin was overly obsessed about sachin and didn't you know put in much effort in his own training in his own practice would he be the virat kohli today he wouldn't be what did virat kohli do instead he imbibed the qualities that sachin had he imbibed that perseverance the dedication the hard work and the commitment for the game which has made him the top player in the world today similarly whoever you look up to it's nice to have idols don't overly obsess over them don't worship over them they have no idea that someone like you exists in this world instead of worshiping them imbibe those qualities in your own life and become your own life's hero do it for your parents because they have put their everything every belief in you so if not for yourself do it for your parents your celebrities don't even know that you exist but your parents are willing to give it their all for your uh, you know success so do it for them another mistake that most students make is not giving much importance to practicing mcqs this is mostly seen in freshers because it's the first time probably in their life that they are attempting a competitive exam like neat up until your 12th grade most of you must have only given your theory exams like your board exams where there is a question given based on a concept even if you have like a vague understanding of the concept you can elaborate write paragraphs and somehow score marks for it so your preparation strategy for your board exams is different and your preparation strategy for competitive exams like neat has to be entirely different because over here all you have is multiple choice questions and the options will seem very similar all of them will look like twins but you have to find out which not twins really quadruplets let's say because there are four options but uh, yeah so they will look very similar and you have to find out which is the correct answer and uh, another thing is if you mark any question incorrectly you're going to lose marks because there is negative marking not many students are aware of this when they first attempt neat okay so your preparation strategy has to be entirely different for competitive exams like neat so over here practicing questions will help you a lot because generally in your board exams what happens you you learn a concept they ask you to either explain the concept sometimes application based questions could be asked and sometimes they just ask you for definitions which is very easy right over here from one concept 500 different types of questions could be framed whenever you're practicing more and more questions you're becoming more aware of what kind of questions can be framed from a particular particular concept so that is going to take you a game i mean take you higher and higher in your preparation game right so practicing questions is very very important just because you've understood a concept first of all does not mean you'll remember it even if you think you remember it unless you practice questions you will not know where you stand after you practice questions is when you will know how many you got correct where exactly you are lacking or haven't understood a concept where exactly is your weak point unless you identify that you will not be able to work on it so these practice tests kind of give you a guidance and direction on where you can improve so don't take it lightly just studying the theory and the concepts and going and sitting in the exam hall it's not going to do you any good solve as many questions as possible from as many reference sources as possible right so that's the second thing please please practice as many questions as possible now let's talk about the third uh, thing not many students analyze your pyqs uh, which is basically the previous year questions not necessarily for need for every such exam it's very important for students to analyze the previous years or the past years questions why is it so important because everywhere you can find a pattern once you analyze you will get an idea of it you will get an idea of how much weightage a particular chapter carries from which chapter how many questions are arising what kind of questions are arising i'm not saying that out of uh, all the questions that are there in your question paper like 50% of them will reappear in the exact same way at least the concepts from which questions are being asked will be repeated unless you analyze the pyqs you will not know where to put your more uh, focus more and which ones it's okay even if it consumes a little le uh, less time right so in order to get an idea of that it's very very imperative that you analyze the previous year exam 
questions, right? So you can think about it like this. Whenever you play a cricket match or any match or any game against your friends, you don't just think about your strengths. Of course, you might be brilliant. You might have super sharp memory and you remember everything well. Great. That is good to have. But you should also know the weakness of the opposite team, right? If you're playing a game, for example, cricket, since it is the most popular game in our country, whenever India is playing against, let's say, another country, we know India's strengths. We know every one of our individual players' strengths and weaknesses. Along with that, unless we have studied and analyzed the opposite team's strengths and weaknesses, we will not be able to play well. Our bowlers should know what is the weak point of the opposite team's batsman. Unless then, uh, unless that is known, we will not have a good game. We may not win. Apply the same thing to your NEET exam as well. Over here, the question paper is your opponent. How well do you know the question paper? Of course, like I mentioned earlier, it's not like the same questions appear year after year, but at least you will be able to find a pattern. And you can kind of, uh, uh, you know, strategize your preparation around that pattern so that you can get the best score and the best rank and your dream college, right? So analyzing previous year questions is very important. In our batches, we give you an analysis of the previous year questions as well. We will solve these previous year questions in our live lectures as well. So if you need that, you may consider, uh, you know, purchasing any of our batches. Okay. Now, the next thing is not taking sufficient mock tests. Practicing pay, uh, questions is one part, analyzing PYQs is one part, but taking mock tests is absolutely very, very important because over here you will learn time management. Whenever you're taking a mock test, what I would suggest is take a paper that has exactly the same number of questions that will appear in your NEET exam, which is 100 questions. Set the timer to exactly the time duration you will be allowed in the NEET exam. Find a place, quiet place for you to sit down, act like you're actually taking the final NEET exam. Do this over and over. First time you will realize how well you manage your time. You will get to know where all you could do better. Some students after analyzing their mock test results will get to know that they're making mistakes not because they don't know the concept, they're making mistakes because uh, you know they're not reading the question correctly. They are reading very fast and reading incorrectly which is why they're getting questions answered wrong. Or it could be that you will realize that you, do, you haven't understood the concept, certain concepts very well. Or it could be that you're not able to bubble the uh, OMR correctly, right? So if for the first time you're using an OMR and bubbling your correct answers in your NEET exam, it will consume a lot of time because you do not have practice. You will not know the right way to do it faster and quicker. So while you attempt your mock test, try different uh, strategies. Because of this trial and error, you will get to know what suits best for you. First time, try doing physics first and then chemistry later, botany or zoology later. Whatever works for you. If that works for you, good. Otherwise, try changing your strategy. Okay? So, whatever works best in your favor, you can stick to that and apply the same for your final NEET exam. By taking mock tests, you will understand how to manage your time well. You will understand how you can read the question paper fast without making mistakes. That practice you will get by repeatedly taking mock tests. That will give you so much confidence in, you know, uh, attempting your final NEET exam. So taking mock tests is very, very important. Even in our batches, we provide a lot of mock tests before your final NEET exam to make you fully prepared for achieving your dream. Now, the last thing, which is also one of the most important things is to believe in yourself. Not many students believe in themselves. It's okay if you've not been able to do it in the past. It's okay if in your life, from first grade to 12th grade, you've never talked at all. It's okay if no one, no one in your family has ever achieved a feat so big. It's okay if you don't know anyone personally who hasn't done it. You still have it in you to do it. I do not want you all to have small dreams like I want okay 500 marks, I want 630 marks, I want 680 marks. Instead aim for 720 marks. Even though you've not been able to do it so far, it's still possible for you. A topper who scored 720 marks has the same cranial capacity as you. He has the same 24 hours in a day as you. He has the same syllabus and he's probably around the same age as you. If that person can do it, you can do it too. Many a times we see students who poured in their so much effort and sweat and uh, you know tears into their preparation, but they don't believe in themselves. 
Even if the world doesn't believe in you, you should learn to believe in yourselves. You should learn to believe in your capabilities. Only then you will be able to achieve your dreams. If you've put in so much effort over so many years and go to the exam hall feeling demotivated, doubting yourself whether or not you'll be able to do it, you won't succeed. I will tell you one thing today. Whatever you think, it is true. If you think you can do it, 100% you will be able to achieve it. If you have any doubt in your mind, and if you feel like you may or may not be able to do it, you will not be able to do it. So first of all, have a very strong sense of self, believe in yourself, believe in your abilities. Even though you've not been able to do it this far, you still have it in you to do it. But are you willing to give it what it takes? Are you willing to give it that many hours of preparation and dedication and you know consistent efforts? If you are willing to put in the hard work, then the result has no way to escape you. The results that you get is proportional to your hard work. The more you work hard, the better is the chances of you becoming successful. If you slack around, don't do much, then your results also will be the same way. Okay? So it is left to you whether or not to believe in yourself and work hard. Right? So this is all I had to say and also I'm sure everyone knows about the Yakin uh, NEAT batch that happens in the Hinglish vertical. Very similarly, we have something in the English vertical. We call it the Yakin NEAT English 2025 batch. This is for all NEAT aspirants. You could be freshers, you could be droppers. This is meant for students who find it difficult to follow Hindi. You know, India is a very diverse country where in different parts of India, people follow different cultures and speak different languages. Mostly in South India, many of us don't understand and follow Hindi very well. So in order to cater to students who would prefer learning in English, we have a batch called the Yaki Neat English batch where I will be teaching botany. And you have Subrat sir and Indrajit sir teaching physics. Bhavika ma'am will be handling the chemistry portions and Vindhya ma'am will be ha uh, handling the zoology portions. So over here, this batch is very similar to your English Yaki batch. We will be covering the entire syllabus of both 11th grade and 12th grade. There will be uh, DPPs provided, mock test uh, provided, PYQ analysis, doubt clearance, everything. All of the same features you will get in this batch as well. But the difference is over here, the mode of instruction communication will be pure English. It's not Hindi English combined. It's going to be pure English. So if any one of you is interested in learning pure English, uh, learning in the pure English language because you're finding it difficult to follow Hindi, someone like me. So you can go ahead and check out more features about this batch on the PW app. Also, there's a uh, Physicswala English medium channel, which you can look up on YouTube. So over there, if you check our orientation videos and uh, many other videos, you will get an idea of what all this batch offers. So you can go through it. And if you feel like, uh, if you're interested in it, Go and roll and uh, I will see you in class. Alright, that's all I had planned for today. Hopefully I will see you in class. Thank you. Bye-bye.